Hi, this is Fritz Gilbert. Today I'm going to show you our new trailer we got for Freedom for Fido. And uh, I'm going to walk you through the modifications that I make for it over the uh, next coming week or so. So I'll go ahead and open it up and show you the inside. Brand new, just bought it uh, last week. So let's cut drop down ramp. So we'll start by just showing you the trailer. We open the back door, it's got the access ramp unfinished wood that'll be the first thing we take care of is staining that to weatherproof it keep it a little more durable then you come inside see it's got these steel struts which run down the side every two feet you can see where the original plywood was tapped into that and what I'll do is I'll put some plywood over the top of that to uh, build on we've got the v-shaped front probably easiest to show you like that so the 6x9 runs to right here, that's the 9 foot mark, and then you get the, the V-nose as a bonus. So we're going to fill this part in here and make it an area that we can put the tools in, sledgehammers, things like that. And then on the other side, we're going to build some shelving. So the first step is going to be to waterproof and seal the flooring of the trailer and the ramp. For that I'm going to use Sickens Prolux. It's an external stain, log and siding, and basically I had this left over. It's a half gallon I got left over from when we did our deck, so I thought I'd use the same stain so that when uh, whenever I do the deck I can update the camper or the uh, trailer. So I thought that would work pretty well, so here we go. So I'm just applying the stain with a brush. It's pretty simple to put on. It's a nice day, about 65 degrees. So I'll get this done and then give it uh, a couple days to cure, to set in good, and then we'll start building the uh, cabinets behind me. Okay, this is just a quick shot about halfway through the staining and I thought I'd show you why we're doing it. See how much nicer it looks and you also get the uh, waterproofing and uh, a little bit of skid resistance I guess. So it does definitely look better than just the plain basic plywood look. So now that we got the floor done, I'm putting up uh, 11 30 seconds thick plywood on the side to build the uh, panel against and I'm just running these self-drilling screws right up against the struts that come down and I'll cover this wall with the extra plywood before I start building the shelves. Okay so now that I have the plywood done on the sides I'm working on a little compartment here where it's going to hold the ladder so I'm built framing it out and I'm going to plywood it in and the plan is you can access it right from the back of the trailer slide the uh, eight foot ladder in all the way up to the nose of the trailer and it'll be out of the way. Okay so now I got the ladder compartment done I've added a compartment for our tables we always set up when we get to the build. And then this is going to be drawers that I'm building here with a workbench area on top and then shelving down there. So it's coming along well. So the way I'm doing these uh, drawers, you look down here, basically cutting this panel to fit. Keyhole in the middle. You lift them up and you can take them out. So when we're at a build site we can fill it up with supplies, carry it out on the job site. And uh, when it's traveling, it sits down behind this bar so it won't, uh, won't come out. So I'm trying to make as much of this as we can um, automatic where you don't have to hook anything in and it'll stay put while you're driving. So now I'm building some shelves to put the tools on. You can see here I'm going to put the drills and whatnot. have slot mail slots for them and I've completed the workbench area. Uh, it's just laying on top for now. So I've been working on these mail slots for the drills and whatnot. Thought I'd show that to you. Nice way to store them. Keep some uh, secure when you're traveling. A little place there for bigger stuff, and then there's the workbench that you saw before. So I've been working on a little corner compartment here to store tools. Uh, put a PVC pipe down to store the heavy stuff. Made little squares to store this in. And uh, just hooked the wheelbarrow up on the wall using a bungee cord and some eye hooks. So that keeps that up and out of the way. So you can still walk in through the door and have access to the, uh, to the rest of the trailer. So we're getting close to wrapping this up. It's coming along well. Well, I'm down to the last step, getting ready to put some stain on the uh, workbench top, and we're going to be completed with this project. So I'll give you a couple of pictures here of the finished product, and uh, I'll show you a little surprise. We could put a nice logo on the outside, so I'll finish it up with that. So it's been a great project. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Here's the uh, final coat of uh, varnish on the workbench.
Well, that wraps it up. Trailer's done, ready to go on our first fence build. Got to show you one last feature. We went to a local sign shop. You can't have a nice trailer without a uh, custom logo, so I thought I'd show you this is the closer. Look up there. Freedom for Fido. Charity we started here in Blue Ridge, Georgia, building uh, free fences for low-income families to get their dogs off of chains. And that's what this trailer's all about. So enjoy. Hope uh, you got some tips out of this video, and uh, that's it for now.